Jonathan, when I'm with you, it feels like home. Your kindness and enthusiasm for life is unmatched, and you inspire me to love and experience life to the fullest. After a wonderful eight years of dating you and 10 months of engagement, we are finally here at our wedding. For those of you who don't know, April's favorite part of the wedding ceremony is the exchanging of vows as it speaks to her love language, which is communication. My hope today is that I speak your love language to truly express how much I love and care for you. April, John, this is hard for daddy. Uh, <laughs> very hard. <laughs> and uh, mom and dad are very happy that both of you are united. You have spent many years and you have tested the time and distance and we are very happy that you are together. know him for a long time but during the last 10 years or so we know him even more he's quiet uh, but very patient um, he has grown to be a, a fine young man very smart and very accomplished and I want to give thanks uh, to the UNIAC the parents Prani and John for all the sacrifices they have done over the years to raise up a very fine young man I continue to fall deeper in love with you every day, from your exasperating jokes to your passionate quest for knowledge. You make loving you easy. I promise to choose you as my husband and my love every day. I promise to support you and sometimes watch hockey or Star Wars with you, but most importantly, to make sure you never go hungry. I love you for your extreme competitive nature and always wanting to best me in games. I love how obsessed you are with hot cheetos. I love that you have taught me to snack efficiently. I love the smile you hold on your lips after you tell me a joke that I haven't quite caught on to yet. I love how committed you are to your family and the importance that they hold in your life. On top of the world here together, I promise to choose you five ever because it's longer than forever. I promise to love you for better or for worse, in sickness or in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. You are home. Jokes. I promise to be present in our marriage. I promise an everlasting commitment to you. I promise to be there if you fall and propel you back towards the stars. I promise to have and to hold you from this day forth, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. April, I love you, I love you, I love you. Now the groom may kiss the bride. John, you chose April. April, you chose John. You chose to be there for each other through sickness and health. You chose to become family. So John, as you already have, continue to take care of my baby sister. Here's to appreciating your differences and sharing many good experiences for a happy marriage. John, welcome to the family. Cheers. I'm, I'm 
so happy that you found each other. Uh, you're compatible, you're, you look great together, you'll make very tall children for sure. <laughs> We noticed a particularly large uptick in his range when he met a girl named April. As you can see, she really does check all the boxes. She is smart, pretty, female, hasn't lost a Stanley Cup, doesn't need to be plugged in, and is carbon neutral. <laughs> Always, of course, listen to each other, but hear each other. Pay attention, uh, be attentive to each other's feelings. That's very, very important. Always smile at each other. Don't be afraid to hug each other. And remembering things such as yes, dear, or you're right, dear, that helps too. <laughs>